recovering from your squirt, Mr. Mark. Oh, that's all right, Judd. I know it's like the first time I tried to put a live lobster in a shopping cart. <laughs> Shouldn't have bagged our own groceries. Ooh, dead bread. <laughs> well, at least now we can have pumpernickel tortillas. <sighs> Looks like you don't have to worry about scrambling your eggs either. Oh. It's not a pretty sight, is it? Well, at least they die with their shells on. May you rest in pieces. I've never seen anyone get so emotional over eggs. Oh, each one of those eggs represents 76 chicken hours, John. You know, Mark, ever since I moved into this neighborhood, you've been one of my best friends. Thanks for taking me to the movies today. How'd you like it? Well, for such a conceptual interesting film, I usually like to see it twice. You know, I found the production values reminiscent of Bergman and the dramatic values reminiscent of Fellini. But what bothers me is, why did the coyote, after the roadrunner blew him up, come back five seconds later? <laughs> Uh, what do you want me to do with the mail? Oh, put it on the counter. It's Mindy's. Uh, this one's for you. Oh, mail for moi? It's from the U.S. Dep of Imig and Nat? I don't know anyone named Nat. Let me see. Sorry. Oh, no. From the Department of Immigration and Naturalization. Dear sir. That's nice. <laughs> Pursuant to your visit of April 19th last year, we require more information on your alien status. Please contact our office immediately to prevent termination of your U.S. residency. Love, Jimmy. I still don't know what it means. Well, it means I'm up the creek without a green card. Being, <laughs> being grown up is sure confusing. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. See, last year I went to apply for an alien status and they, well, they, they refused me and I thought they threw away the form, but I guess they didn't. What's that got to do with the creek? Well, it means I'm going to be deported. Mark, what's deported mean? Well, it means I'll have to find another place to live. I better go down there and check it out right away. Careful what you say. Yeah, you're right, it's the government. <laughs> I'll try and duck any questions. I think I'm chicken and my goose is cooked. <laughs> well, well, I guess I have to prove that I'm going to be a fine American citizen. What's it say in the Statue of Liberty, Judd? I was there once when I was a kid. It says, Carlos loves Mary Beth Ovitz. Oh, it's almost four o'clock. I better find some decent duds and get down to the federal courthouse. I'll stay here and tell Minnie where you've gone. You know, Carlos must really love Mary Beth. I mean, he built that big statue and she's still carrying a torch for him. Is Mark still here? Well, he sure is. We'll give a visitor. Oh, rug bug. You probably was going to say goodbye, didn't you? It's not why I'm here. I saw this program on TV and I thought it might help you. It's about adopting kids from Asia. If you could find someone to adopt you, like the Vietnamese kids, you could stay in this country. That's a great idea. Yeah, man, but I'm allergic to silk and I don't love rice. It's not so bad if you put lots of sugar on it. <laughs> See ya. Okay, thanks a lot, Judd. Sure thing. Okay, bye.